how are you? I hope you're good. So today I am here with this incredibly massive box. So this is the Gobstone Alley advent calendar. I have done one last year and it's still on my channel if you want to check it out. Quickly becoming a tradition in my house and it is massive. I don't know if you can see how massive it is, but I want to open it. It looks differently from the last year. So we're going to go ahead and check how it looks inside because last one had like a door system. Wow. Okay. It looks so magical. Look at that. Okay. This like, you can barely, <laughs> you can barely see what I want because I don't want to tilt it too much because this is all going to fall out, but it has these like, a variety of colors of tissue paper like the wrinkly kind and then you have like individually packed and numbered ah this is so exciting that was a weird noise we're gonna move on from that <laughs> i will link up some alley down below i do think those have sold out now i do think that they still have some christmasy boxes but uh, i don't think these are available because obviously it starts at the first of December. I'm gonna just get into it because we have a lot of things to look at and I don't want this to be a super long video for you guys. If you got this and you don't want to see what's in all of the boxes because I will be unwrapping all of the 24, 25? I don't know how many they had this year. Uh, it was 24 last time because that's the European way, like the mainland Europe way, but we'll we'll see. We'll, <laughs> we'll see. Um, but I will be doing all of them. So if you don't want to get spoiled, you might want to click away and either come back later on or just you know watch my next one uh but yeah let's get on with it i can see one poking out this is so incredibly fun okay so number one i can see poking out right there so i'm just gonna oh okay i'm not gonna do that because i don't want to make a massive mess okay so number one is this little tin uh this is padma patel's masala tea ingredients asaj tea i don't know what that is uh ginger cloves lemongrass cinnamon uh cardamom oh god i don't know and nutmeg <laughs> and it's in this like really adorable little tin and once you open that oh it smells really christmasy and nice so Pretty adorable, pretty adorable. Number two is this, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, like packaging really gets to me. This has this like little adorable, how do you call those? Like like the pinchy things? Wow, much knowledge, I know. Uh, but you know what I mean, like the little pinchy things and the little paper number is wrapped here. It's just very magical. I am enjoying this so far. And inside of it, all right, we have some jelly slugs. I have been acquiring quite a collection of these. One of you guys actually sent me a second bag because when I got the first one of these, I was like, I don't want to open them because I want to display them. And so now I have tried them, thanks to you guys. And they are actually really yummy. So if you have like a sweet emergency, this is always handy to have, but also, you know, it's a nice thing that wizards would actually have in their family. I'm gonna wrap this back up even though i know i'm gonna do close-ups because it's so beautiful okay then day number three. Ooh, this is a bit of a hunt <laughs> one hour later three okay was right next to the second one well done me <laughs> anyway we have number three. Ooh, okay this is a licensed item and we have a key ring this one is for Hogwarts with Hogwarts Crest. I personally have so many key rings that I don't know what to even do with them anymore. I will display them somehow. But if you don't have an insane amount of them, this is very lovely. For we have this really nice silver packaging. It's really heavy. Oh, it's a tiny candle. We had like four candles like of this size, I think last year. So it might be something similar this year. This one is of Hogsmeade. That's cool. And it says white chocolate. Mm. Oh my God. And the detail inside is really beautiful as well. Love that. Literally, <laughs> literally my stomach just growled because I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> white chocolate indeed. That is very lovely. And you know, very Christmassy to have candles. Okay, number five. Where are you? And it's a little package. Oh, yay! It's, uh, they're gonna do these again. So it's a Ravenclaw ornament for the Christmas tree. They did these last year. It was a different style. So I do have all of them already, but I did get a Christmas tree this year. So you know what? I'm really not complaining because the wooden ornaments really look lovely on the tree for what I like on a 
geometry especially so this is really lovely and we got a Ravenclaw first and I'm assuming we're gonna get all of the houses and possibly one for Hogwarts because I think that was the case last year let's grab number six and that is another silver packaging which means I think it's gonna be another little candle this one is Christmas at Hogwarts and it's nice green color and it says spruce pine and cloves Mmm, I actually really like it. It's very fresh. It does smell like Christmas. <laughs> Almost like wood details inside. Very lovely. Number seven. Ooh, this little package here. See, little, it's not that little. I can't, I still can't get over how cute these little uh, pinchies are. And we have, ooh, a Lego Harry Potter uh, mystery bag, I think they're called. Okay, got my scissors, so we're gonna go ahead and see what I got. <gasps> I got Dobby! I know, because I just saw his head <laughs> that's a bit creepy but yeah I'll put it I'll put it together and I uh, will show you how it looks like but you can see all of the things that you could have gotten here very cute let's move on where are you where are you this is so we're just gonna dump this on the floor thing because I can't find anything with this so it'll just go on the floor future me will regret this decision immensely let me tell you i sort of took the wiggly bits out so we can see how it all looks like number eight is this massive box i wasn't expecting number eight to, to be like one of the big ones so this took me about a million years to find but it's fine we're gonna move on this is wrapped in an absolutely stunning way by the way it has this like very much like a honey dukes vibe so Let's ruin it. <laughs> this is a licensed item, and I'm assuming maybe a mug? And it is indeed a mug. And this, oh, so it has a cauldron, but instead of um, just being a cauldron, it says the leaky cauldron, and I think that's super cool. I do not have that one, so it's even more extra, you know, exciting for me. And on the other side, it says Diagon Alley. Let's unpack to have a look-see. Okay, it is really adorable. So this is how our little cauldron looks like and you even have like the three little legs and it says the leaky cauldron as i said and diagonally and this parchment banner uh design i love it super pretty okay now on to number nine then uh i did see that one there we go number nine is this little pouch is this another ornament oh no it's a magnet this one is the deadly hallows one uh, I need to find a new place for magnets because my fridge is now integrated and it doesn't have like the magnetic bit where we can show this off but it's just a simple black magnet and I like that about it and it just has a Deathly Hello symbol with the stone cloak and wand and I yeah it's as magnets go this is a really nice one you know guys I'm not the biggest fan of magnets but if you are that one is not bad day number 10 is another little tin of the tea and this one has flitwick's Rui boss tea what flitwick something tea yeah i don't know what that is though but i'm sure it's some sort of herb Ooh. oh i just got it all over myself Ooh. very unusual looking tea i'll show you a close-up but it smells so good this almost looks like some sort of hot chocolate, but obviously it isn't. I am very intrigued by this tea. Caramel, that's why it smells so nice. <laughs> Almond and cacao, oh, yes, yes, yes. Number 11 is this little pouch right here. I love the little numbers, they're also very magical, I think. And this one is another wooden ornament, and this time it is for Gryffindor. I do like that they're different from last year, uh, just because I obviously had the last year's, although I think most people will just have this first number 12 is this beautiful pouch again and we have another magnet this is a gryffindor quidditch captain magnet i've never actually seen them again not the biggest fan of magnets it's an item that is really easy to show for the most people because you know you can just slap it on the fridge so that's kind of nice number 13 is gonna be another little candle uh, so you can notice the theme. I think they're going with like, you know, a similar thing like last year and we got ourselves Dobby's gingerbreads The scents are gingerbread cloves and anise. Oh, this is the hands down my favorite so far. I love that scent Oh So beautiful. I actually burned this during Christmas because it's beautiful that scent that scent is stunning okay number 14 number 14 is more tea fortunately i do love tea but if you don't love tea this might be a little bit of a miss uh this one is mcgonagall's multi old i know how it looks like as we had that a while back and i'm thinking it's gonna be the same no it is the same 
It is a very like strong character tea for me. I do really like the look of it and the smell of it. I haven't tried that one actually. Those little tins are adorable and also they are packed to the fullest. So there's definitely good, well depends how you like your tea, but it's definitely good. Like I want to see like seven cups in that. So, you know, it's fair play, fair play. Gonna go for number 15, which is this one. Can't get over, still can't get over how adorable these little things are. Feels soft, I want to guess socks. And they are. <laughs> okay, so this one uh, has like a Hogwarts crest and they're just with like red and gray stripes. So it's not Gryffindor, but it's just like generic ones and they're really soft and stretchy. Can have enough socks, especially if you're Dobby. Oh, okay, 16 is this really <laughs> beautiful packaging. I almost don't want to open it because it is really stunning, but we got it. It is soft, so I'm assuming some sort of wearable, but who knows? Don't think it's socks because it's we just had socks. Oh, it's a hat. I love this. I love it. You guys know I really like my simple colors and this one is purely black and it just says another Weasley. I love it. I love it so much. Okay, we are gonna wear this for the rest of the video. <laughs> and it's so soft and stretchy. Love it. Super happy with this item. Okay, so that was number 16. Now going to 17. And it's gonna be another ornament, I can tell you already. Yep, we have ourselves a Slytherin with a little snake, as you would assume. Day number 18 is this interesting packaging. So there is another ornament, but it's a different kind. This one actually has a little Harry from Lego in it. I think that's adorable. Okay, let's do 19. <laughs> this is a, like a touchy subject, touchy number for me. So day number 19 is 100% gonna be um, the Every Flavor Beans. Oh, but this is with the new packaging. I actually don't own this packaging yet. So it has uh, almost like Honey Duke's vibe on the top and the new packaging of Harry Potter license merch, which I'm actually not the biggest fan of, but in this in this packaging, I do like it. And these are every flavor. So, you know, be, be prepared for some nastiness if you try a vomit one. Yikes. Day number 20 is this very light one. Oh, and it's another little ornament and it says Merry Christmas with a Lego Harry again. The decision for the Lego Harry Potter to me is a little bit odd, but it is a lovely ornament. So, you know, it's still gonna go on my tree. Okay, day number 21, we are getting there. Is this golden uh, sashi with a candle. This one is for butterbeer and the scent is caramel, vanilla, cinnamon, and sugar very sugary for sure and yeah we have another one i'm thinking this is gonna be the last candle so i think we got four right for day number 22 we have another little tin of tea this one's news peruvian mate interesting mm. oh this smells really nice because i'm very much into my green teas promising promising again very unfortunate if you don't like tea but yeah <laughs> day number 23 so we're definitely getting to it i do think this is a 24 day calendar because that's the biggest one here which i'm thinking is going to be a pop funko we did have that last year so and the size seems about right but we'll see 23 oh is that going to be our hufflepuff one yes it is okay day number 23 is our hufflepuff ornament so we got our hufflepuff with a badger and our house ornaments are now completed our 24th day is right here so let me open that and let's see i'm like almost sure it's gonna be a pop funko yep Ooh. Ooh, i got a nearly headless nick so i got a ghost one i haven't actually seen them in person these are like sort of like semi see-through ones it's really cool so i don't know if they mixed the versions of these or not but if they didn't and it was from this collection you could have gotten uh, either Harry, Ron, or Hermione with the Mandragora. Oh, I wish I had that, but I'm happy with this one. Ginny Weasley, Gilroy Lockhart, Tom Riddle, or Nearly Headless Nick. Whew. Okay, so that is everything that we received in this calendar. I think item-wise, it's very, very similar to the last year's ones. As in, we have four little candles, which I think everyone's gonna love. Uh, the ornaments, uh, which is very festive, obviously. We did have a lot of tea, tea and I'm just lucky that I like it. But if you don't, that there were a lot of teas in here. So I think that would be a little bit of a bummer for you if you don't like it. A couple of extra ornaments this year and our main 
door was a pop funko which obviously is an expensive item and it's on its own so with that we also got extra two items that are like very substantial so we got our our the leaky cauldron cauldron mug which obviously is substantial and this hat which i personally really love but i don't know if it's for everyone but i love it so that is the calendar i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for hanging out with me hopefully this is not going to be too long so i'm not going to chat too much now i know it's not quite there yet but i hope you guys will have a magical festive season whatever it is that you're celebrating and now that i'm officially branded as another weasley i'm gonna go and continue with my day stay awesome stay kind and i'll see you very soon bye